Well, just about wound up on my TSI project. I've got, uh, I'm down by the road on the last little bit of it today. And I think I'm going to finish up here pretty quick. Anyway, interesting things you run into. We planted uh, cypresses in here as one of our trainers. And look at the size of that, a good 12 inch tree. Right over there is a walnut center frame. It's only about three inches, but it's pretty good. It goes up almost 16 feet before there's a fork on it. And here's another bald cypress here. And if you look just to the left of that bald cypress, there's a walnut there, a good five inches. It's a pretty nice tree. It also has a catalpa up against it. But it's got its top up above that catalpa. If I knock this cypress out, that walnut's got a lot of room. This uh, catalpa is a mess. If I, I may come back and kill it someday, but I don't want to drop it. It'll wipe out my walnut if I cut it. So anyway, I've got to get uh, these two cypresses down. Back here behind you see I've got a walnut center frame there. It's uh, forked. There's a cypress. It's a piece of junk. Walnut, it's basically a piece of junk. I can take that one fork off and maybe make a tree out of it, but I'm not betting on it. I'll do that. I'll take that off because next to it I've got an elm and a cypress I can take out. And then I go on past that walnut and there's a nice cypress I can use as a crop tree. And there's a elm over there, center frame I can take out and keep another cypress as a crop tree. And I say, oh, I see a walnut beyond that next cypress. Let me see. Yeah, center frame there, you see a nice walnut tree, about six inches diameter. That's a nice one. So that cypress on this side of it is going to go. So you look around, look for your good trees. You see, I've got a nice walnut center frame there. It's over six inches, it's about almost eight. And it's got an elm under it. Elm's a weed. That elm's gonna go. So I'm I got a busy little spot right here. So we'll uh we got that thing faced up already and bored. And I don't know if I'll have to drive it or not, but I went ahead and put a a wedge in it just in case. So anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my gloves back on and finish that one. Okay, ready to drive that over. Oh, oh there she goes off. I, <laughs> she's cooperating. And wouldn't you know it, it's pulled the top of that nice little walnut over. Well, crumb. Okay, well, I've got to bust that down. Maybe I can shake that walnut. Move in and grab it. Perhaps. Well, see if I can bust that thing on down, and maybe the walnut will pop out of that. Isn't that the way it goes? Look up there, you can see that nice little walnut got caught by the limbs, and it just went right down. Well, that's it. That's a bad deal. Best laid plans and all that.
Well, what we have here is an exercise in futility. There's that nice little walnut center frame. Took this, wall, this uh, cypress over that was above it. It pulled that top down and I've got it freed up now. And that was a bunch of work. I had to do a bunch of chunking and limbing as it came down. That thing's pulled over so the top is at 90 degrees. I might pull that back up if I sling a rope in it. This winter I might get her to stand back up. But uh, it's loose now, but it's not coming up. It may come up on its own some. But I think I'm going to have to throw a rope into it. Pull it back. That's probably a waste of time. If it doesn't straighten up over winter, what I will do is come back and whack that tree off two inches above the ground in the spring or at the end of winter and get a straight sprout out of it because it's not a perfect tree. And I see I see an elm back there I need to get. Uh, it makes me think hard about this thing right here. I guess if I drop this right across the butt log of that, it shouldn't hurt a thing. So that's what I'm going to do. Take it down right there because it is above another walnut, that one. So I'm going to take it down. It shouldn't give me any trouble. And I am just about out of breath. I'm going to stop and get some water and finish up in here. i got about half a dozen more trees to cut and I will be done with this. And it's kind of anticlimactic to get through a nice TSI project and then screw up a possible crop tree right at the end. But you know, that's, that's part of the game. You see these things happen and sometimes you can fix them, sometimes you can't. Okay, I'm going to turn this off, back to work and I'll be done.